Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. And today I have a tutorial related to the Divi Builder user interface itself. So it's uh, not necessarily a typical type of tutorial, although I do have um, a handful of tutorials related to the actual builder itself. And this is another one. I'm going to show you how to increase the height of that inner um, like field settings pop-up window that opens like when you're using dynamic content, things like that. Uh, I'll show you what I mean here. Basically, uh, let's see, do I have a screenshot? Yeah, right here. That when you open up something, like you're adding the, the page title or a post link, something related to dynamic content, usually I think, there might be other use cases that I'm not thinking of right at this second. But the main thing is that this, this window, this inner one right here, is not very tall. At the time of this recording, it's uh, early February 2020, and there has been a bug the last month or so that that thing is really short. I'm not sure if they fixed that or not yet. I feel like on the one site I was just working on, it was fixed. So I'm not sure. I need to, you know, just wait and see, kind of. But either way, this tutorial is really helpful because why not make it taller anyhow, right? Brilliant, right? So it's going to either solve the bug, if the bug still exists for you, or it's going to just make it taller anyway and be more convenient, all right? So it's a really, a really nice tutorial for, for uh, efficiency, productivity, right? Okay, so let me just show you uh, real quick. Um, right here, now if, I'm in, if I'm in here, like here's, here was one example. Click in a text module, add dynamic content. Let's say I choose page link. This box we're talking about, right? There's a blue scroll bar here. In fact, ah, you know, that's another idea. I just realized the scroll bar never works in there. If I could fix that, I'm gonna work on that. See, sometimes it does. Anyway, that would be round two, I guess. But that's the idea. Like even here, if I was gonna set a link, right, and let's say uh, you know page link. Look at that. I mean, that's pathetic. The scroll works there. Okay. So let's make this taller, right? So here I have uh, the tutorial. If you're watching this on YouTube, as always, I always have a written post here. So. A lot of times you need that because it has you know the screenshots but also the the snippets of code all right so do this why not make it like this why not right why not make it taller why not have the whole thing in view instead of the scroll bar and you're going to be able to determine that height so right here this one line of code literally copy this now um if you have a child theme put it in there but if you have if you don't here i'll show you where to put it um you know, I could, let's just, yeah, I'll just go to the back end. Divi theme options. That's where you should put it, right here. Just put it in here somewhere. In fact, there you can see a snippet that was related to another tutorial I did where you make the text editor sticky within there. All right, so anyway, paste it in your theme options there. Save the page. Now I'm going to need to refresh this page. All right, let's try it again. I think I was doing a link. Do back in here page link and you can see it's already taller there's no scroll bar now I could you know this one this particular one is not not necessarily tall because look it's only one one option here you know what I mean now this has always been tall so this is a nice box but um, what's one that's short or normally taller what was I using oh this is it page link well, if yeah if my dynamic content was here so look at that it's nice and open Look, you can see all the options and it's, you know, there's enough room here. Why should it be, why should it be short and have the scroll bar? That's it. That's the tutorial. Here I have, you know, make sure you check out my other Divi Builder tutorials. Let's take a look. All right, this is the category page on this website of my blog. So hide the Gutenberg buttons, sticky text style settings. I was referring to that. Here you can set the position and the size of that box that opens. Um, this one's kind of outdated, the, the icon picker, that's been updated. Increase the height of um, this right here. Okay, increase that. Um, and then I have one, I'm not sure why that's blurry, but I have one here for the text style thing. Um, right here, I'll show you that really quick. If I'm in here, this thing here, it controls that. That's what that one's about. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Super practical, one line of code. How do you like that? Let me know if there's other things like this. You know something I'm totally overlooking, forgetting. I love doing this kind of tutorial. Let me know. Um, 
like I like doing the other types of tutorials that I do every week as well, but I like this one as well. So hope you're subscribed. That way you get notified every single week because it's always something helpful. All right, well, we'll see you all in the next video.